On the morning of Monday, July 22nd, 100 golfers arrived at Paint Creek Country Club for the ninth annual Chamber of Commerce golf outing. Following breakfast at the clubhouse, the golfers headed out at 10 a.m. for a shotgun start. The sold-out event involved 220 different businesses and was months in the making. I'm fortunate, super fortunate, to have an amazing uh, operations manager, Jillian. She makes us look really good with all of our signage and branding and whatnot. And then our sponsors I've been working on for months, actually since January, to get uh, sponsors. We were sold out in sponsorships and we were sold out with uh, 100 golfers about six weeks ahead of time. So, um, you know, the things that we're hearing today, everybody's just having a great time. It's kind of late back. It's a beautiful day and everybody is just happy to be, you know, out on the golf course instead of in the office. Throughout the day, participants took part in raffles and contests. Lunch was provided and sponsors offered fun activities at several holes, including a hole-in-one contest. I mean, the chamber is awesome to work with. They do a lot of great things in the community. Um, just being here at this beautiful golf course is another benefit, but um, everything that we've done with the chamber has gone off without a hitch. They always do something great, so we're just happy to be here and be a part of the, the event today. So we're doing throw for dough. Uh, everybody gets uh, two, two bags. They get a chance to go into the hole. If they get it in the hole, then they will be entered in to win a $100 Visa gift card with us. Yeah. The event came to an end with dinner, raffle prizes, and it was announced that the team made up of Chris Barnett, Dan Kelly, Sam Ashley, and Jim Stevens came in first place at 18 under par, claiming the coveted Chamber Golf Outing Trophy. Not only is the event the Chamber's largest fundraiser of the year, it also acts as a networking opportunity for participants. We try to raise funds just basically to keep the chamber doors open. Everything that we do has to kind of bring in some sort of fun so that it can keep our employees happy, keep a roof over our head, keep the lights on, and also to continue the important programming and networking opportunities that we offer through the chamber. So it helps fill, um, you know, helps fill our budget. But I think more than anything, it just promotes camaraderie. Again, we have 41 unique businesses out on the course today out of the 100 golfers. There's 41 different businesses. And so this year we did put an insert into our uh, official golf program that lists all those businesses in case somebody said, oh, who was that, you know, who was in front of me or who was that was in, that was in back of me or who did I sit with at dinner so that they can continue to network off the course as well. Even though participants today aren't taking the golf too seriously, one thing that they are taking seriously is raising money for the Chamber of Commerce. For more information, you can visit orientareachamber.com. From Paint Creek Country Club, I'm Lexi McKinney reporting for ONTV News.